If you're playing OU right now, chances are you're going to run into a Hatterene. And who can blame you? Hatterene's a really good Pokemon, that's for sure. But today we face a very interesting Hatterene set. I've never seen this one done before. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Tyler, also known as Lazy Boy from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It is the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Looking at their team, they got the free Sinnoh Stars, which is a pretty cool little theme to have going on. Hatterene is a pain, especially with this Eject Button set. We need to get Landorus and Torterra out of the way for Sandslash to do anything, but it looks like Sandslash could put in some work here. So I think what I'll do is, they don't have any Weather Setters, so I'm going to go with a Hippo lead. I think they either lead with Landorus, or they lead with the Torterra right off the bat to get that Shell Smash off, because I see a lot of people doing that. And the battle begins, so Tyler's going to lead off with Cutie Patootie. The Landorus is expected. We lead off with Flump the Hippowdon, so not a bad matchup. So here's something funny that's going to happen right now. So, I'm obviously going to go for a Stealth Rocks, right? That's pretty much what I do here. They might go for their own Stealth Rocks. They might not. They might switch out into Hatterene. Which means, if I Stealth Rock, they'll get bounced back. But, on the flip side, if I Whirlwind right now... Well, let's just, I'll just show you what happens if I Whirlwind and they do switch into Hatterene. They go for a Taunt. <laughs> Never mind. Won't be getting my Stealth Rocks up anytime soon. We are in a very tough pickle right now because we cannot will win this thing out. We cannot stealth rocks. They can stealth rocks just fine. We can't, unfortunately. So I've got a couple of options here. I can either go into the slow bro because they're not going to go for an EQ on a hippo. They go for the stealth rocks or something along those lines. So I'm leaning towards the slow bro to try and get off a ice beam with that quick draw. Um, we can take an earthquake. Don't get me wrong. We can definitely take an earthquake, you know, depending on the set. Um, I think Slowbro is a good switch here because they're definitely not going to go for an EQ on a Hippo. They probably go for a Stealth Rock. So into the Glory and Slowbro we go. There we go. Looking all dapper and stuff. They go for the Stealth Rocks as expected. So now we have an option. Either they stay in and risk it for a Chocolate Biscuit. Or not getting the Quick Draw right now. Or they expect the Terror. I don't really lose much from going for Ice Beam. It's still going to be chip damage on whatever they bring in if they do switch. So let's go for the Ice Beam real quick. So they do go for the EQ. Unfortunately, that's no quick draw. And we do live. Allowing us to go for an Ice Beam, which is probably going to take out the Landorus. It does. So remember earlier I said I needed to get the Landorus out of the way for Sand Slash. And also I need to weaken the Hatterene. And also weaken the Torterra. Well, guess what? Slowbro has done just that. In comes Emperor Flaps. Which is probably, yeah, the Empoleon. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So we don't want to stay in here. We could still be useful later on down the line as a fodder switch or something like that. But Slowbro did real good tanking that Earthquake and going for an Ice Beam to KO the Landorus. Perfect job from Slowbro right there. Um, now we've got to decide what do we switch in. So I'm, I'm leaning towards my own Empoleon pretty much just because Empoleon, ironically, walls Empoleon. You know? So we'll go into Empoleon real quick like so. Mine's not so shiny, but it is still taller than the other opponent's one. They go for a flip turn on the switch. Good play on my opponent's behalf because they're going to get some momentum. They're going to get initiative on whatever we brought in, which was the Empoleon. Um, and now they get a free switch in with whatever they want. And I'm pretty sure they're going into the Iron Treads or the Infernate. Now, we do have a way to counteract that. Donfan.io, the former Titan, is coming in the Iron Tread. So we were expecting that, that's for sure. So we got a couple of options here. We could either Terra Flying or we can switch out. I'm leaning towards the switch out option. I'm really leaning towards the switch out option. I want to go into Hippo because we can then fire off an Earthquake, which is going to do chip damage against anything on the team. Um, and we can wall the ever loving crap out of this Iron Tread. So we'll switch out real quick. I would have flipped turn, but again, they outspeed me and they go for an EQ here. They definitely go for an EQ um, or a Spikes. I don't know whether the Iron Tread gets Spikes. It seems like everything gets Spikes though nowadays, so maybe. Volt Switch, even better. So Hippowdon comes in, absorbs our Volt Switch like an absolute champ. And uh, we're able to go for an EQ right now. We'll get our own Stealth Rock. So I think Stealth Rock is going to be useful. Yeah, because even if they go into the Hatterene right now, they go for a knockoff. So knock off our Smooth Rock, which is unfortunate because it means the sand. Next time we set it up, is only going to be there for a little bit. Stealth Rock comes through. Now they're definitely going to go for a Rapid Spin right now. I know they're going to go for a Rapid Spin. They have to go for a Rapid Spin. Get rid of those Stealth Rocks. 
So I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to go into my Houndstone. There we go, withdrawing the Hippowdon. Save it for later. And we'll go into the Houndstone because basically this thing blocks the Rapid Spin being a ghost type for a start. And um, we can then hit back with a Poltergeist, which looking at the team hits everything extremely hard. Everything. So let's go for it. Let's go for that Poltergeist real quick. Let's take advantage of the sand while it's up. There we go. Poltergeist comes through. Heavy Duty Boots is going to attack its owner, which is the Iron Treads. And uh, nearly down it goes. They now go for a knockoff, which is going to do a lot of damage. Knocking off our Choice Band, but it's fine. The Sandstorm has subsided, though, which ain't so fine. So, in order to stop them from going for a Rapid Spin right now, we need to let Muttley go down. I'm going to go for that Shadow Sneak just to get some chip damage off. You never know my KO. I doubt it. It doesn't. As uh, they're able to go for an EQ and take us out. So, that's unfortunate that Houndstone didn't get a KO. But it nearly did. He got the Iron Treads pretty weakened, to be fair. So, that's not too bad. Um, so, what we could do here is... We could go into a lot of things here. We can go Hippo, get the Sand back up. I'm leaning towards that. Or we could go Tyranitar, we could Terra Ghost. But I'm not leaning towards that because EQ is going to come and it's going to sting. So I think Hippowdon is the best way to go about this. So in comes the Hippo. Which is fine. We can go into the Hippo all we want. We'll get that Sandstorm back up. And then we'll just fire off an Earthquake real quick. So Earthquake comes through. Let's see how this plays out. So they go for a Rapid Spin. Obviously wanting to get rid of them Stealth Rocks. Which is fair enough. It's going to boost their speed as well. Not that it matters because I'm afraid the grounds are rumbling. And down goes the Iron Treads, which is great. So Hippowdon's off to a good start. A good, good start. In comes Misty. So Misty is going to be the Hatterene. So I don't really want to stay in against this thing. I also don't want it to sell Carmines on me. So I think what I'm going to do instead is... I'm going to go for that big fat EQ right now. They go for an Agility? Is this a Zoroark in disguise? Agility Hatterene. I was not expecting that. So let's go for that EQ. Bet some chip damage off on them. They do have a berry, which is going to boost their, what, defense? Okay. That's an interesting berry to have. So let's go for that EQ once again. Let's go for it. Carmine's coming through. I'm afraid that is not the right play to go for because now... This Earthquake is going to nearly take you out. But after the defense boost from the Berry, it doesn't quite get the KO. However, Sandstorm after this turn is going to KO. And they cannot KO me with Draining Kiss from plus one. There's just no way. So we go for a uh, Earthquake again. They do go for the Draining Kiss. They do get a fat amount of HP back. Oh, that's a lot more HP than I anticipated. So that's kind of screwed me over a bit. But it's fine, because now we're low on HP. The next Draining Kiss is going to KO us. But it's also not going to recover too much HP back. So there we go. It's going to recover about 30 on HP that they've got left. Which is respectable, to say the least. So Flump is going to go down. Which is unfortunate. Again, what can you do though? Sandstorm subsides. We just go into Tyranitar right now. And I'm confident that Tyranitar, right now... Can definitely do some work here. Definitely do some work here. So we'll go for a sand stream real quick. Get that all up and running. Let's go for that stone edge. Let's go for that stone edge because I'm confident that we can take a draining kiss at plus one. There we go. We take the draining kiss like a champ. It is going to recover a lot of the HP. But stone edge is going to come through, right? We missed. How anticlimactic. I always sat there like that is not the play to go for the calm mind. But this has just completely screwed me over. How did Draining Kiss at plus one do so much damage to Hippo? I don't understand. I just don't understand. So, what are our options right now? First things first. We don't let it get any more HP back. That's for sure. That is for sure. So we go Bro Slow. We sack off the Slow Bro. As much as I would love Slow Bro to come in right now and go for that Shell Sidearm, it's not going to happen because the Stealth Rock are still up. We can't get anything in to deal with that just now. So Stealth Fox is going to take Slowbro out. And hopefully they don't anticipate this and go for a Car Mind. Because that will screw us over. They go for a Draining Kiss. So there we go. There we go. We've still got a turn of the Sandstorm. So we still have an option here. I think 
<laughs> Sand Slash is the option we go for. So let's go into Knuckles real quick. There we go. Rolling around at the speed of sound. And then what we're going to do here is... We're going to Terrify so we don't take as much damage from the Draining Kiss. We're going to EQ. Because it does more damage. And hopefully, we can get some damage off on this Hatterene. So... Terrifier is going to come through right now. Sand Slash needs to pull through here because it can handle the Empoleon. It can handle the Infernape. To an extent, it can handle the Torterra with a Terror Blast. But it's this Hatterene that's standing in my way right now. So we go for the EQ. We outspeed naturally because we're in Sandstorm. Does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage. As they go for a stored power. That just threw me right through the loop. So Sand Slash, unfortunately, doesn't get to do Diddly Squat. So what do we do here? What can I possibly do? Other than Empoleon. I think Empoleon is the play. I think Empoleon is the play. But I think we've lost because they have an Infernape. I think we've definitely lost because we have they have an Infernape. I think we can take this thing out. But only with a Hydro Pump, and that's provided we hit. So they go for a stored power. It's going to sting, but it doesn't KO. As we go for a Hydro Pump, and it does KO. So Hatterene is out of there. I should have gone into the Empoleon first. I really should have gone into the... Well, to be fair, it wouldn't have been at that HP if we had gone into the Empoleon first. So, you know, I, th I think I did what I could with the tools I had at the time. So, you know, it's whatever. In comes Macho Mayhem, which is going to be the Inferno, right? Yeah, nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We definitely lose here. Let's go for the Hydro Pump just in case they misclick. You never know. You never know. Misclicks can happen. So they're going to Terror. Just to add that extra insult to injury. They're probably going to Terror Fighting, I would say. Electric. Interesting. So Terra Electric Infernape, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice stuff. So there's the Terra Infernape. They go for a Thunder Punch. It's going to definitely take us out. It definitely takes Empoleon out. Terra Electric Infernape. That's pretty cool. With a Thunder Punch and stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. So my opponent is going to win this game, unfortunately. Unless they're banded and locked into Thunder Punch right now, which would be amazing, by the way. We bring the T-Tar back in. There we go. T-Tar comes back in. Stones are going to dig in, which is unfortunate. Sand is going to come back up, though. And then we just go for a nice and powerful EQ and hope for the best. So they do go for a Mag Punch, takes us out, and that's going to be the game. So GG, Lazy Boy. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. I love the team. The three Sinnoh starters being alive at the end of the game was pretty cool. But GG, Tyler, that was a good one. I like that. But anyway, here is the team. If you want to try it out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.